all right so we're gonna make a simple float today so i'm gonna make a new one call n general don't say all right so here we are gonna delete everything press a and delete now press one float view shift a to add uh you might expect about using torus but no i'm not not i'm not gonna use torus i'm gonna use the cylinder all right here we are now we're gonna scale this scale it to the z make them a little bit smaller and just like that all right so control a to apply the scale because we're gonna use this one both of the face up and bottom i to insert press i maybe like that would do right click which face okay and you got something like that now let's add a subdivision surface you can press ctrl 3 while in object mode or you can just go here there we go up the level viewport to 3 okay that gives that there we go now oh if you feel like about make the holes a little bit bigger don't press s do not press this if i press s that's what happened okay if i press s that's what happened it's not gonna work very well so if you wanna scale the holes there press scale uh shift z okay yeah like just like that all right so we're we're done with your the float here i'm gonna shade smooth oh don't shade smooth it yet oh you can shade smooth but don't apply the subdivision surface yet because we're gonna paint this thing first we can add a little bit more there nah, i don't need that so here we are go to shading it's gonna paint this thing all right so we're gonna i'm gonna stick this to the white press new this is for the white make a new one new slot new and this is gonna be the red the slot too okay so you can just rename them if you want it's better to rename it okay so i'm gonna set face select i'm gonna press alt i mean hold alt all right and hold shift to select multiples and now let's find here two three four here again one two three four is it the same oh it's the same right so that's good now we select it we select those don't select anywhere yet go to here and hit assign so you might say nothing happened but see what happened when i changed the color that's what happened all right so now that's a simple and basic shape of a float okay and if you're satisfied do not forget apply the subdivision service Ctrl a to apply or you can just go to here and hit apply should look something like that okay so oh so that's all for today thanks for watching i'll see you next time okay i'll see you next time see very simple bye now